I mean, we had Batman Ninja, all those, all the rogues, and Batman gets sent back to ancient Japan. Why not Bedrock? You know, <laughs> well, do it, do it. Why just... not? Go ahead. I don't know really how you know uh, high the stakes would be. Uh, actually, what 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 are you what are you guys' opinions on the Flintstones cartoon? Because I know nowadays a lot of Hanna Barbera stuff is it's considered to be very dated, and a lot of people kind of dump on it. I think the Flintstones is one of the, like yeah it's like, you know you know recently it was voted like the second best cartoon of all time but it's mm-hmm. like I don't think a lot of people particularly nowadays because it's not on anymore would even regard it that way but I still it's kind of weird I love the Flintstones early years mm-hmm. when it's just the honeymooners and it's kind of just about this guy coping with his family and stuff and then later on it goes into like hey aliens and all this kind of crazy crap. Mm-hmm. But uh, like the Simpsons, it goes downhill. Right? Yeah, pretty much. Yeah, but it's like I, I well, think the, pretty the, much anything. Yeah, l- true. Let it go long enough, and aliens will turn up. <laughs> well, see, my as a child, I didn't like it. Right, I think if I watched it now, I probably would. I think I would kind of connect to the humor more because the humor isn't geared to children. No, it's, it's not. It's not like a triple X, you know. I think but, it was, uh, it's, it's, it's like, adult jokes. I think it was the first cartoon to be put on prime time television because it wasn't you know geared at kids. It was geared for the family, so it would be on at a time when adults would be sitting around the TV as that well. That makes sense. Than, yeah. yeah, but in England, it was always kind of pointed towards children. Oh, it's a cartoon, but I never really got into it. I never, I didn't dislike I it. I liked but it I didn't when I was like a kid. It. I liked it when I was a kid. I've, I. I've not watched any Flintstones related things recently because I'm a 34 year old man. <laughs> but, um, hey, I, I think was a kid, it'll be yeah, better. I like the, liked it. To God, I still send people, whenever someone makes a joke, I still send them a clip of Fred Flintstone going, droll, very droll. <laughs> well, see, God, as a kid, I, didn't, I wouldn't know what that word meant. <laughs> I think like, I learned what that word meant from the Flintstones. <laughs> So every time, you know, it was one of the, everyone always thinks like, oh yeah, yabba dabba do and stuff. But like, oh no, Fred had a couple of catchphrases, and one of them was like, very droll, very droll. Well, yeah, because again, yabba dabba do fits in with the, the oh, it's for kids, like oh, this little fun catchphrase. But then when you watch it, the jokes aren't like that. It's about like family life. It's about like living with your wife and you, you know, being sick of your job and all these mm, kind. Of, mm. like, kids don't relate to that. <laughs> I wonder if that would be would that have been a good move for Batman to be going down and go yabba bada do? <laughs> <laughs> Why not at this point? Why not? So that might be the one moment where Joel was like, too much. <laughs> <Battle> <laughs> back. You know what? It does get bats where he needs to be, toe to toe with the Terminator. <laughs>